Previously on Mika Apoptosis. Messiah does not exist. He is only the delusion of a madman. Do not believe what you see. He is lying. Yes. There he is, on you. A guest room. <laughs> Ruthless indeed. Dance with me, Micaiah. Goodbye. And now... The conclusion. Welcome to Chapter 3. You can do all kinds of things that Papa alone cannot do because you are Mama's child, the child of the goddess. If you're the child of the goddess, then who's the dad? As we return to our old friend Mika, the titular character, I think we got a brief preview of this. At the end of the last build. But alas, here we are. We'll find out. All right. We can search flowers. Nothing inside. We can... Nothing inside. And we got a storage room's key. This castle is the temporary property of the Church of Salvador. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Yep. Although, if memory serves, when reading through the texts in that final room of Micaiah's chapter, there's talk of them leaving this castle behind. Yeah, this is a this is a big new change. In that, all of these religious texts have accompanying pictures, really pretty art, and we just wrote to that book. There's 
a certain power that religion holds over people. It's an interesting talk. So the Book of Treachery and Salvation have been burned, but let's read the Book of Creation. Our world is overrun by horrifying monsters known as the Things. The Things ate humans by the hundreds, and everybody lived in constant fear. One day our mother, the goddess, saved us from those things and created a new earth. She breathed life into the people, and she watched them grow. The goddess, with the company of her angel of light and her prophet, were satisfied. They were happy. But the things continued to lurk in the depths of hell and wait for their new master. Meanwhile, our goddess bestowed upon her favorite angel the holy crystal dagger of light. So then she then told them, I bestow the earth upon you. Crystal dagger of light. Crystal dagger. Isn't there a dagger that was a, like a key in the prologue chapter? She then told them, I bestow the earth upon you. I pray that you love these humans like your own children. Little did she know that the angel of light's heart is turning corrupt indeed with their lust for power. Hence treachery and salvation. Alright. Here's another save. The angel of light is the goddess's right hand. It's the angel of light in front of the foreground. With the blonde hair, that long white hair look that I think they, that's the image of the goddess. The goddess loved and cared for the angel, yet they have always borne jealousy toward her. Book of Treachery, Chapter 2 1. Letter padlock. There's a parchment tape to it, so I the goddess's right hand is the angel of... The angel of... The remains locked. Uh... Uh, how do I... Oh yeah, that's a... Uh, forgot, it's one... You wouldn't think of it at first, but you need to enter all of these in all caps. Alright. What's in here? Child's exit. She then looked down at the knife in her hand, and against her will, the hand carrying the knife began to move toward her throat. She screamed for help, but everyone who could have helped her was dead. She had killed them. Oh. There was a... That's sorted. Books on alchemy. Storage room one. Alright, storage room two. Once upon a time, the rulers of Aven were the goddess, the angel, and the... Light. No. Goddess, the angel, and the prophet. Yes. This is storage room two. And one day she acted on her wishes. She took a knife and stabbed all her friends. Her friends screamed for her to stop, but she had no mercy for them. She slaughtered them all. That's harsh. Really. In case you're wondering why I went through this all quickly, yes, this chapter is not blind. I've seen this chapter already. Why? Well, I don't actually know if I'm allowed to say this, but I beta tested this chapter. Anyways, we have another one. The monsters who crawl in hell have no names. We only call them the... Simply enough, 
the things. See what this book has to say. Room was a young girl whose heart was as twisted and black as sin. While all the other children her age are playing innocently, she was always thinking dark thoughts about them. I want to burn them. So we have a children's story here, out of order. Let's see what this says. Goddess presented her favorite ankle with a dagger made of. That's a crystal dagger, right? I believe so. Alright, read the page. Her fist gripped the knife and plunged it into her chest. She then fell down dead. That was the end of the evil murderer. Karma had taken her. This is the story of divine punishment. If you kill, Karma will take you. No exceptions. And that's going to be the theme of this chapter. Since Mika's here trying to find out more about her, and what the church did to her specifically. The second book of the scriptures is titled The Book of... Treachery, right? Tree. Trench her me. Now the first time I played the chat, I got so confused I kept trying to put in all the answers how I'd normally write out a word, but all caps. Which kinda clues you in because you see the whole the messages written in all caps, so Obviously, it didn't work for me the first time, but hey. Before she could run away, however, she caught sight of herself in the mirror. It was a bloody sight. Her face was all drenched, and her smile was terrible. Hmm. I believe... The door is bolted shut. Examine paper. I don't remember this being here before. Written and drawn by... Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, this is... Oh! Door's locked. I, I gotta see that again. That's really good. Cause you see, written and drawn by blank the Lancaster. I don't remember seeing this when I played this before. If this was new to the final, that's really cool. Cause just looking at that, hmm. You see, written and drawn by, blurred out, De Lancaster, age 12. So, for the numerical padlock. Three. All I, all I remember from reading it. I have to look back at the others, but all I remember is that three was no, came first, and four came last. Because four is the one where she fell down dead. Three is the one that introduced Rune, or Rune. Uh, I'm just going to take a stab at this. Ah, oh, yeah! Just for posterity's sake, we'll read this in order. Rune was a young girl whose heart was as twisted and black as sin. But all the other children her age are playing innocently. She was always thinking dark thoughts about them. Wow. 
One day she acted on her wishes. She took a knife and stabbed all of her friends. Her friends screamed for her to stop, but she had no mercy for them. She slaughtered them all. Before she could run away, however, she caught sight of herself in the mirror. It was a bloody sight. Her face was all drenched, and her smile was terrible. She then looked down at the knife in her hand, and against her will, the hand carrying the knife began to move toward her throat. She screamed for help, but everyone who could have helped her was dead. She had killed them. Oops. Her fist gripped the knife and plunged it into her chest. She then fell down dead. That was the end of the evil murderer. Karma had taken her. This is the story of divine punishment. If you kill, karma will take you. No exceptions. Apparently, even if you wound someone, karma will wound you in return. As Mika found out at the end of the prologue. Yes, I definitely recommend you. Oh. Miss. What are you doing here? You look like the girl in that picture. Miss, you are just like me. Yes? How mean. You just saw me. How can you not recognize me, miss? I'm Rune. From the book. How cruel. Don't look away from me, miss. After all, I am part of you, right? Part of you. Do you know about divine punishment? You know, the dreadful spell that prevents you from hurting anyone? If you kill someone, you will yourself be killed by your own hands. Isn't that unfair? No one else is affected by it. Except us. Other people can still go on killing, and nothing stops them. Right, miss? Of course it's not fair. I'm gonna tear that rotten car into pieces myself, you know? But because of this, I can't lift a finger. I'm so sick and tired of this fuss. If only I could get rid of this spell, this divine punishment they placed on me. I will make them pay. Not bad. You have spirit, miss. Come join me. I'll make sure you get the revenge that you want so badly. Stop it. Leave me alone. Or would you rather face me again? That woman from back then. That woman who will come after you if you so much as close your eyes. If you so much as dream of hurting another human being. Do you remember me, Mika-chan? Since, so you have. 
killed someone? Madame Tamora. Oh, 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 oh. No, oh, no touchy. I wonder, can she not go past there? Nope. <laughs> again, it has been a while since I played this. I don't know where I need to go. Hmm. Nope. Go that way. Nope. Hope. Oh, hug. Alright, I'm still working out the kinks in my own mind. Alright, when you go... Ah, you turned around, you little... Hmm. Well, I wasn't expecting to be so thoroughly roadblocked here. Okay, there we go. Dodged. Bye. You're not there anymore. You haven't killed anyone. You don't deserve to die. Ooh, anyways. There was that one brief. Oh. One fateful day, the angel gave in to their lust for power, and departed to Earth with a fraction of the goddess's magic. Forbidden to all but the cardinal's inner circle, Alchemist de Lancaster. Whenever you feel like taking the life of another human, or even hurting them, you will remember the life of that woman you destroyed. Remember the horrible last moments you have forced upon her, and suffer her fate. Oh. Mika? Mika? Someone's been pushed a little far. Ooh. There you are, Lady Mika. Oh, it's good to see you again, Tsukino. And you too, Andy Shin Shinozuki. The two of you look better today. That's really good. But jeez, there's no need to call me Lady Mika. Okay, it's... Oh. So Lady Mika's healing people. With her powers. Oh, the goddess herself. Hey, Mako. Mama Mako. That was the part we saw very little of in Mika's first chapter. Very striking red hair. I wonder what that means. I knew I was different from the other children. I realized I could use my powers to do great things. I could use my powers to stitch together wounds, to destroy viruses, to heal. 
so I studied hard. I made sure I knew what exactly I must do to heal the sick and injured. I never neglected my studies because I wanted everyone to praise me again. I wanted everyone to love me because I loved them too. They called me the Goddess Reborn. That time I really believed it. How foolish. How could I be so stupid? <laughs> yes, you were, Mika. Check the spine of the book. Oh, first circle. Property of the Lancaster. This looks familiar. Since that betrayal, the Angel of Light is no more. It shall henceforth be known as the Fallen Angel who has submerged themselves in the depths of sin. Report room one, highly confidential. Oops. Does this music sound familiar? That's because that was... Well, that door is locked now. This part of the castle matches up with Micaiah's chapter that we just played. Let's read, Reforming the Church. We need to understand that it isn't enough to pray. We must recognize who the prophet truly is and destroy the angel of light. Whoa, hello, music. Development of Alchemy. One of the greatest alchemists of the century, Mr. Farlane, and his apprentice, Mr. Lancaster. Let's analyze the Holy Scripture. In the Holy Scripture, the goddess is portrayed as a lithe woman in a splendid dress, with golden eyes and silvery blonde hair. The angel of light before his downfall was an, as a blonde-haired person of indeterminate gender. That's true. Prophet as a brown haired man in modest clothing, and the Messiah as a young boy with pale green hair and golden eyes. We've met him. Legend says that the Holy Scripture has a fourth book, but such a book has never been found. As far as we currently know, the Holy Scripture only has three books the books of creation, treachery, and salvation. To the Cardinal, Priest Salvador. Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you well. I am truly sorry for your loss. I cannot imagine how painful it must be to lose your wife under such unfortunate circumstances. She was a wonderful woman who dedicated her life to the goddess. She died fighting the devil. She must be incredibly strong. May the goddess bless her soul for all eternity. In the meantime, I have done as you said, and have successfully completed the report. Based on what I have discovered through the diary of Himea Mika, I believe we have a high chance of succeeding. Oh. I have numbered my reports from volumes 1 to 5, respectively. In the perspective of a researcher, I have named the project the Mortal Recoil, though we also colloquially refer to it as Divine Punishment. After careful analysis of Himea Mika's diary, I have concluded that she alone is particularly susceptible to it, which is a good sign. Nevertheless, this is a delicate procedure, and safety measures will have to be taken. Mortal recoil has never succeeded with ordinary humans. It appears that Himia Mika alone is an exceptional case. The goddess works in mysterious ways. I will update you further as the time comes. Yours sincerely, Alchemist de Lancaster. Hmm.
Let's break this down. The Cardinal, Priest Salvador. Is that the same, the same Cardinal that was imprisoning us? How painful it must be to lose your wife. Unfortunate circumstances. Oops, died fighting the devil. Let's skip to that. Mortal recoil is intriguing. It's a diary page. Read the diary page. Today I met someone really interesting. His name is Di. suppose with uh, powers as extraordinary as hers, she would attract all kinds of skeptics and the like. Boom! No. Oh. Adorable child. An admirer from afar? Hmm, nah. nah, it's dangerous to put someone on that pedestal. But, okay. Admirer is an admirer. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> Bless you. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> Dynasty. Interesting name. We'll call you Die. It was poisoned.
Hmm. If he's really been poisoned, he can't. Hmm. He seems like a nice fellow. Weird. Mysterious. Of course he didn't. He had quite a lot of money. Wow. Hmm. Rich and powerful priestess. Yeah. What? Oh. Thank you for giving me the option to save, but... Don't turn around, or else... Hug! Hee hee hee. I'm a terrible fourth dimension uh, video game puppet master. So... It's not explicitly stated, but... Oh, there she is. Feed me some... Let's just take a step off the path. We die. So we have to be careful. Where are we going? Yeah, the first time I played this, I really don't so much just glance at her. There's the hint. Don't so, don't so much just glance at poor Rume there. Just keep moving. Burn. And move along. Let's get out of here. Get the frig out of Dodge. She's watching. <laughs> Hello. Oh. It's you again, little boy. Lord Rothwell's boy, I... Yeah, that's a fair question. Glad you survived, but... Hug. At least someone made it out all right. The one person who was on your side survived. That's for sure.
that's the spirit. Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> Seeing this again, Mika's gonna be a very scary girl if we ever get that divine punishment curse off of her. All right, young Rothwell, age seven. Wow, likes his dad. We still have that glass blade. Let us continue. So, we are back and ready to conduct some business. We have a small child following us now. Although he is the very small child who saved our life back in that poor basement. The door is stuck. Yes, yes. Forbidden. Hmm. We do have our drastic measures. I'm curious if there's anything to actually to be found. I don't recall. Uh, is there anything that looked like it might have tools? Nope, no tools there. Hmm. That was a knight spear here. <laughs> we might be able to use to bash this thing, but we can't even touch them. Alright. Well, bollocks to that, I say. Let's use drastic measures. Nah. I've got a better idea. Burn! Burn! Hee <laughs> hee 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 hee! Holy fuck, you just fucking blew the door up. Holy shit. <laughs> Where's the home? If I did, uh, fight the gang, I would f hurt myself, too. Let's burn everything! Burn! Burn! Burn, baby, burn! Disco Inferno! Burn, baby, burn! Burn, baby, burn! I'm imagining burning all of the Cardinal's men. Oh, okay. okay. And speaking of the cardinal, <laughs> so I now have the perfect image of the cardinal in my head now. It's if you ever watch the BBC's Musketeers show, in the first season with the Peter Capaldi as Cardinal Richelieu. Amazing. He played in that show. He's a fucking amazing villain. I love it. Unfortunately, he had to leave that show to go back to to take up Doctor Who, but... Damn, that was good. If 
Even I wish I could. If you help me get this curse off of me, I'll go roast them all for you. Although, he, yeah, he doesn't understand. He wouldn't understand something like that. <laughs> That's because I don't believe in what some dumb old guys wrote in a book with pretty drawings. Hmm. Yeah, he's a, he's a little lost. And near a little riled up, Mika. Was this here before? Oh, the fallen angel is the devil. With their terrifying influence on our earth, the world cannot be saved. We will all be engulfed in sin. Well, that's harrowing. Does this mean that Mika is the fallen angel? Let's read this again. Cardinal Priest Salvador. So Mika's diary gave them a measure of success on this mortal recoil project. <clears throat> yep. That would help. Is that divine punishment you wounded yourself? Hmm, <sighs> it's an interesting question. Hopefully, not by testing those boundaries. Yes. a powerful curse. Whoa. That is the goddess's retribution on me because I stole her powers from her. Oh, well, there it is. The fallen angel. Yeah. A really pretty goddess. Yes. I'll make them burn. Burn! Burn! I have left the emotional copy of the report on mortal recoil in the safe in the storage room. I've given the password to the safe to Alchemist Farlin, but I've also written it in Himia's diary. Please let me know if you need the report. I can get it for you. Hmm. Roger that, Captain. Engage. Here's one. A. The first part of Runier's story. The 
first part was here, right? Ah, yes. Bloop. Let's read it. I love talking to Dai. He melts all my worries away. Ta-da! This is my new house. Thank the goddess! This is wonderful news. I can't believe you managed to get a new house for yourself. Shh! Don't tell anyone yet, alright? I want my housewarming party to be a surprise. The first time I met you, I never thought you'd be such a fine businessman. Look at how much you've saved up since. It's got its bad points, too. Now all the girls are after my money. It's sad. Don't be childish. I never complained about the fact that people are off only proud of me for my powers. Now have I? Now you have. Meh. <laughs> Aw. Including me? Yeah. Of course not. Meh. <laughs> He's like a... He was a priest, yes. Hmm. A house of the goddess. As they are with churches. At least in the kind of sort of era that this game is set in. How nice of you. Only with Mama. I did say that the uh, Angel of Light went down to... Greedy with power, they say the Angel of Light went down to Earth with a fraction of the Goddess's power. Hmm. don't have eyes. Yeah, not literally. Alright, eyes closed. Oh, Mika. Dork. That's really endearing. There she is. Oh, golden eyes, silvery blonde hair. And a pretty smile. Very pretty. Hmm. 
A priest's intuition. more functional magic. Yes, you're a doctor. You do magic surgery, <laughs> literally. Really? Yeah, it's really a fascinating uh, application of magic in this sense. actually apply into a surgical sense. Really quite cool. <laughs> yep. It just means you're efficient. This is new. your own way. In your own way. Ah. Oh yeah, she was a real charmer.
Oh. Yeah. A real good guy. Oh. That's so cute. <laughs> Not to actually sit and think about that it makes a lot of things make more sense. But we'll find out more later. He's a real good guy. Oh. Oh no. Ben, one of that which protects the foolhardy who rush into war. With the Messiah, we will need no war. Ooh. Devil hides on Earth, disguised, taking the things as their minions. With the devil's curse, the things shall walk amongst us once more. I still want to find out more about uh, Micaiah and Lenin's, Lenin's world. And the things that are outside, but... Mika, all right. Even if you restrict him, it, the curse activates. It's the skewed definition of uh, doing anything wrong. Very skewed. Yep. And the body doesn't feel like it's mine. So there is another... book down here. But do not fret, my children. The power of the goddess shall never be used to harm another, lest God, divine punishment shall fall upon the traitor. Thank you, goddess. Search it. Nothing there. Search it. And it's sitting on... I'll just read this page on your head, Rothwell. I shouldn't have expected Die to stay forever. He isn't from here. I'm sure that he would leave someday. I'm worried about him. Because that priestess. There's something about her that scares me. Mora Salvador. This is my son, Castor. Lots of names that are uh, really interesting. 
I remember hearing that name Miss Tamora early on. We also remember hearing Caster from the prologue, I believe. I read chapter one. He's going to be an important character, no doubt. I distinctly remember him having red hair, though. Which intrigues me. It's one of the mysteries about this game that's still lingering for me. The red hair. Red hair is a symbol of something. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead with your blasphemous worship. It's none of my business. You know, just because a kid knows a couple of magic tricks doesn't make her a miracle from the goddess. Now, if you'd excuse me, I have a few things I need to sort out with the dynasty. <laughs> oh, adorable. Of course, you don't trust him. That part is probably true. Hmm. Notice there's no mention of divine retribution. That's a plus. Oh, hello. Although his hair did, does seem a little red. <laughs> what a mummy's boy. Oh. Question mark? Poison. Mummy's boy. Hmm. Likewise. Is he leaving? Did he not tell us the full story when he first came? Oh, it's Caster. T 
ですね<笑> OK で、ユネイセダイSuper magic, right? Okay, well, you're the ones who came here. And if you leave, well, I'm certainly not planning on going near you. Hello, Wicked Witch of the North. Alright, speak. That's fair. Oh. Where things start to go downhill. Why? It lights your way in the nighttime, burns an oil off, reminds me of the goddess's undying love. Away in the dark. Making sure nothing new hasn't appeared here that I haven't didn't know about. That's the first diary page we found. I this being here before. So be at peace, children of the goddess. Those with the goddess's magic cannot harm another child of the goddess. Therefore, even the devil cannot hurt us, as long as we remain human. There's our lamp. There's our diary page. Something feels bad about this one. Well, let's read it. A plague hit the village today. Many people were infected. I've never tried to heal anyone on such large scale before, but I believed I could do it. I've studied enough about medicine and the human body to use my magic eff effectively. Most of the time in the past, I've only dealt with minor illnesses and injuries, which were easier, but now my 
combat skills will really be put to the test. I really studied as hard as I could about medicine, about the human body, everything. I studied so very hard. But healing was so difficult. I was bound to go wrong once in a while. Still, on such a large scale, and like this? I will pass the goddess's test. I will prove myself. I was wrong. Instead of healing them, I, Himiamika, had destroyed their bodies and minds so terribly they wished they were dead. Was it just the plague? Or was it my magic gone horribly wrong? Dozens of people died tonight. I failed to stop any of them. Most of them from the plague, and a few who'd rather kill themselves than live with what happened to them. I remembered that instance what Tamara had said. I'll stick around as long as it takes to see the truth revealed to him that you're just a fraud. What happened? I really tried my best, so why couldn't I save anyone? Ooh. You, happy blessed, blessed birthday to the Messiah. The experimental storage room is in report room one, behind the hidden door, right where it always has been. You're not doing so well, Mika. Not at all. If you remember this room from uh, Micaiah's chapter, you should know that there's a, there should be a door here. Burn it! And this room looks awfully familiar. The church's old storage castle to be demolished. Report on Himia. Recruits, Alchemist Lancaster, Priestess Kokona, Ernest Kalen. Oh, it's a staircase key. That's good. So, Miss Lancaster did stuff here. Into the research tower. So, yes. I remember reading these similar things in Micaiah's chapter. Which again leads me to believe that this has... ...taking place... This is definitely in the... ...past. Compared to Micaiah's chapter. We still have no clarity on mortal recoil. I experimented to induced apoptosis. Written and researched by Alchemist de Lancaster, with the assistance of Priestess Kokona and Taylor Farland. Airy place to read this. There's a lot of intriguing plot things in here that are really making me think. question of who is the alchemist of Lancaster. We've yet to meet her yet. Let's go up here. And yes, this, this, this looks familiar. Let's pop 
pop out of here. What is it? Hmm. Indeed. I think the answer is obvious, yes. Showdown time. It's over. I asked the question earlier, was Dynasty Castor's father? So the hair relation? No. If you remember, she was introduced as Tamora Salvador. And we read that letter from Alchemist de Lancaster uh, to the Cardinal Priest Salvador. So they were married. Which also means that Dai was not 100% telling the truth. about the whole uh, woman poisoning him thing. Which makes me wonder, though. Ow. If Dai was lying about the whole poisoning incident, and he was still actually poisoned, could he have done that to himself to test out her powers to see if she was really the goddess? church. Hmm. This is a lot of anger moving. He didn't she didn't deserve this. fought back. Everything I could.
won't be dead. You're only a mangle heap, but... I didn't actually try that before. <laughs> uh, okay. You taste it. Very thorough curves. This is your punishment. The power of the goddess shall never be used to harm another, lest divine punishment shall fall on the traitor. <laughs> oh. Chapter 4, we return to Lenin's perspective. Which I can't wait for, honestly. <laughs> to find out more of what's gone on in that. Oh! You know. Shit. Oh. So don't tell her. We don't want that. That's a pretty powerful secret. Oh, ho, ho. A lot of interesting stuff going on here. So, Chapter 3 entirely focused on the divine punishment aspect of Mika and Micaiah, most likely. Judging by the end of Chapter 2, Micaiah also has this divine punishment on her. Which bears us a lot of questions. Man, there's a lot to come. And I'm personally really excited to see this project develop and go further. 
it's going to continue in these episodic releases, chapter by chapter. I think there's a total of like 10 chapters. So this plot's got a long way to go. I'm really excited to see this. Obviously, there's three main characters that they're focusing on here. Uh, Lenin, Micaiah, and Mika. I'm really excited to see how they all tie together. There's tons of questions, like, who is... Who actually is Madame de Lancaster? What happened between Mika's time period and, uh... Nakaya and Lenin's? Obviously the world got overrun somehow. With the things. At the command of the devil. Did Mika get the curse? The, uh... Divine retribution, divine punishment off of her. That curse is really intriguing. Ah, there's. What I loved about the first two chapters, if there's so much. just plot threads out there, and with a long episodic chapter like this, there's so much to keep track of, so much that's gonna keep weaving together, and stringing along further, and... Man, I'm a root. Honestly, I'm really a fan of this. So... Until next time. Until then, we will see you in Chapter 4.